This tutorial will show you how to make this adult size spiral mitten. This is a multi-size pattern. I'll be making the medium size and I'll put the adjustments for the other sizes as well. This pattern uses worsted weight yarn. You'll need about an ounce of each color and a size H crochet hook. I'm going to start with the green yarn. Give yourself a nice tail, at least six inches. Put a slip knot and we'll start with a chain five. We're going to skip the first chain from the hook and into the top loop of the second stitch we're going to put a single crochet. In the same loop we're going to put a half double crochet. Now we'll put a half double crochet in the top loop of the next two stitches. And then two half double crochets into the loop, top loop of the last stitch. Okay. Now I want to pull up a big loop on the green so we don't lose any of our stitches and turn your work upside down. We're going to work into the same stitches of the foundation chain but in the other loop. Now in the second loop of the first stitch we'll join on the purple. Chain one, one single crochet, and one half double crochet in that first loop. Your long tail, give it a little tug to tighten up that first loop. Now we're going to put one half double crochet in the other loop of the next two stitches. And in the last stitch, two half double crochets. Pull up a big loop of the purple. Now we're going to continue to put half double crochets around and around in a spiral. We're not going to slip stitch to join the rounds. We're not going to turn our work. We're just going to keep spiraling. And your colors are going to chase each other. So you'll pick up the green and crochet into these purple stitches until you run out of purple stitches. Then drop the green, pick up the purple, and work into the green stitches until you run out of green stitches. Then drop the purple and pick up the green again, continually spiraling around and around. Now you're going to add increases on your short ends. So in the short end, you'll put three half double crochets in the end stitch. And then along the long ends, the long sides, you'll just put one half double crochet in each stitch. And you'll begin to grow out this way and you'll have an oval form. So we'll pick up the green again. Since we're at the end, we're going to put our increase into the first purple stitch. So three half double crochets into the first stitch which is the first single crochet we did in purple. Now along the long edge here, we'll just put one half double crochet in each stitch. Now pull up the green so you don't lose any of your stitches and pick up your purple. Now when you're picking up your new color you want to make sure you pull on the tail so that your loop is snugly down on your hook. That'll help you keep your tension. So now we're on this end. We're going to put our increase on the first green stitch. So three half double crochets in the same stitch. Then going down the long edge, just one half double crochet in each stitch. Now 
Now when you're deciding which stitch to increase in, you could try to count and use stitch markers, but with the spirals and the different colors, you're just going to confuse yourself. So what I do is just make sure that my beginning chain is straight up and down, and then I just pick whatever the topmost stitch is. If it's off by one or two stitches, it's not really going to make that big of a difference, and you're just going to drive yourself crazy trying to pick the perfect stitch. So just pick whatever one is um, directly above the chain. So in this one I'm going to put my increase. And then continue down the long side again. Coming up behind the green, so just pull up a big loop and pick up the green and you'll do the same thing. So you'll continue spiraling, adding your increases on your short ends until you have the number of stitches for the size of mitten you want to make. So now I have 24 stitches and I just wanted to show you when you're counting your stitches this last stitch, that counts as a stitch. This loop does not count as a stitch. This here, because you're crocheted into it, does not count as a stitch. You would start counting here. So you would start counting here and end counting here. So once you have the number of stitches that you need, you can see it's starting to look like the tip of the mitten. This is your beginning chain and it's flared out. Now we're going to continue crocheting without increases and your rows will start growing straight down. So just one half double crochet in each stitch. Work as far as you can in one color until you run out of stitches, then pick up the other color and go around. You'll continue spiraling until your mitten is as long as it needs to be for the size that you're making. So now I've added enough rows to give me the length that I need for the size that I'm making. And you want to fold it with your chain your beginning chain straight like this and it should fold flat and this edge will be where we'll put our thumb so two stitches before this edge you're going to chain eight then counting you're gonna skip four stitches and in the fifth stitch, you're going to half double crochet. Then just continue half double crocheting all the way around. When you come along with your second color, you're just going to crochet into each chain with your half double crochets over the top of this chain into the stitches. Now once you've put one half double crochet in each chain, you're back to the main part of the mitten and we're just going to continue with the half double crochets like before, spiraling around. This gives you the thumb where we'll attach the thumb for the mitten. So it looks like this so far. For the rows after your thumb hole is made, we're going to decrease on the short ends. So just like we increased on the short ends down here, we're going to start decreasing to make it tapered to the wrist. To decrease, you'll just do half double crochet two together. To half double crochet two together, you'll yarn over and then insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all of the loops on the hook. And then just continue with your half double crochets. So 
So now I've finished the rows below the thumb hole with the decreases. You can see how it tapers down. And I just ended my colors opposite each other. And I just finish it by um, stepping down from the half double crochet to a single crochet to a slip stitch and then fasten off. And then you'll weave in this end. The same thing with the green. Step down from the half double crochet to a single crochet and then a slip stitch. And then fasten off and weave in your ends. So this is what your mitten looks like so far. To make the thumb, we'll chain three. Then we'll slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to form a ring. Now chain one, put one single crochet and two half double crochets into the ring. And pull up a loop. Join the purple into the ring. Chain one. One single crochet and two half double crochets. Now we're going to put two half double crochets in the single crochet, the first green single crochet. And one half double crochet in each stitch around. The same thing with the green. In the first purple single crochet, you're going to put two half double crochets then one half double crochet in each stitch around. And just like before, you'll just continue spiraling around, adding one half double crochet to each stitch, and your thumb will start growing in length. You'll want to keep crocheting until it's about one and a half to two inches long. And before you get too far along, you'll want to weave in these ends, because it's hard to work uh, into the tip of the thumb, so you want to get that out of the way before your thumb gets too long. Now the thumb is two inches long, and you have eight stitches around. The hole in the mitten where we're going to put this is 12 stitches. You have 8 stitches from the chain and the 4 stitches that you skipped. So we'll have to add 4 stitches to this thumb to match the hole. We're going to add all 4 stitches, the increases, on the same side and that will help this grow here so it can ease around this part of the thumb. To add your increases, we're just going to put 3 half double crochets in the same stitch. This will add two stitches. So the first stitch will be for that stitch and then the next two stitches will be the increase. Then one half double crochet in each stitch the rest of the way around. When you come around again with the purple, you're going to put your increase in the center half double crochet of your last increase. So here you'll put one more and two more. So that's your increase in your center of your previous rounds increase. Then just put one around again. So that's adding the four stitches and you can see how it lengthens the one side to help ease around there. Okay, 
so here you can see your increase. This is your first increase, and here's your second increase. I just added one more row of half double crochets just to make it long enough. And now we need to fasten off these colors. So just like we did around the cuff, you're going to step down from the half double crochet to a single crochet, and then slip stitch. Do the same thing with the purple. Going to step down to from the half double crochet to a single crochet to a slip stitch. Now you want to fasten off these, but leave yourself a tail because that's what we'll sew the thumb to the mitten with. Now we just need to attach the thumb to the mitten. So turn your mitten inside out. Then you're just going to line up your thumb where the increases are along the center bottom of the chain. Insert it down inside the mitten. And now using these tails from the thumb with a yarn needle whip stitch your stitches together. You have 12 stitches in the thumb and 12 stitches in the hole so just line up the stitch with its corresponding stitch on the mitten and whip stitch. You can go around once or twice to make a nice secure seam. Just line up your stitches and whip stitch them together. All the way around. Before you turn your mitten right side out again, Use that long tail. I used it to whip stitch along this beginning chain just to reinforce it. Then you can turn your mitten right side out again. And we'll add the cuff. You can make the cuff either color or a completely different color. So I'm just going to join on in any stitch with the green. Chain one. And put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Once you've gone all the way around, you're just going to slip stitch in the first half double crochet to join your round. Now you can just chain one and repeat this um, row of half double crochets as many times as you want to make the cuff as long as you like. This is how it will look with two rows. And this is how it looks with five rows. now your mitten is complete. You would need to make a second one for the pair and you would do that in exactly the same way. These mittens are ambidextrous. I hope you like this pattern and video tutorial. Give me a thumbs up here on YouTube and check out my blog where I'm posting new free patterns all the time.